It's an unprecedented News Channel 5 investigation of Tennessee's broken juvenile justice system. We're kicking that off this morning with an exclusive look from the front lines of Nashville's struggle against juvenile crime. Over the past three months, our News Channel 5 investigates team has hit the streets with members of Metro Police Department's Juvenile Crime Task Force and our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams got up early with us this morning to give us a first look at this. Yeah, Phil, nothing like this has really been done before. No, it was really eye opening for me and throughout the month of November, we'll show you just how broken Tennessee's juvenile justice system really is and how it's failing the children themselves. As part of that investigation, we were given exclusive access right with the juvenile crime task force as they scoured the city looking for kids in stolen cars and kids with guns. As you're about to see, it's an effort that takes officers to the city's most dangerous neighborhoods. Is it right there? Okay, my, my uh, hang on just a second. Is that your vehicle? Would you mind if I just check your ID and registration just to make sure they matched? And then, and then absolutely. Mr. Taz, you, you got anything in the car when you put out? Yeah, there's six down here. Clear. Call me later. Can we use Charles Zimmer, babe? Nope. You gotta stay over here. Sorry. If you're dealing with somebody, stay with them. He's coming down here. I'm notifying him. Bail Black. Why are you taking Tom? Where's your work? Black shorts. You're driving back to the place work. Long Cannon. Okay, towards Claiborne on Cannon. Okay, left on Claiborne. Left on Claiborne. 20, I got it. Put your 20, 20. Claiborne and Cannon. That's okay. Got five more coming in front of you. Central down here. Central Flex. And Harmony is down here until we get this figured out. Okay, I've got five, ten Charles, yeah, yeah, Claiborne and Cannon looking for you guys. Where are you? In that area. Walk over to our cars on Charles E. Davis. Just have Hermitage and Central flood this area so we can deal with this without having gunshots going around us. So we had one individual that we'd watching on cameras that we initially got directed to over here. Well, as we were walking up on him, he threw a gun. So we had him detained. Uh, while that was going on, we heard shots being fired over here near Claiborne and near Lafayette. Um, so as we rushed over there, we have one individual that flees from us. Um, we get him in custody. He's claiming um, that he's a narcotics dealer and he had a deal go bad. And they were shooting at him. We're getting him in custody and walking him back. Um, shots, two different groups of shots fired are being fired over here at University Court. Um, so all at one time, we've got World War III going on. Yeah, because you're, you're down in this car. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. All of a sudden, yeah. And, you know, six, seven, eight police officers here and right next to us, they're, they're shooting each other. And that's just a hint at what these officers face out there on the streets. Throughout the coming month, we'll show you just how broken this system is, how it puts violent offenders back out on the streets again and again, how state laws may not give judges the tools they really need, how children are actually being locked up in conditions that may make them worse, and how we're expecting police to solve problems that really need a community-wide effort. In the end, we'll also show you some of the programs that are working and how there's hope that given the right commitment, this broken system could eventually be fixed. Now we have a 30 minute special that is streaming right now on our News Channel 5 app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV and Apple TV. It will also be available beginning Saturday morning on newschannel5.com and then our Full investigation begins Monday right here on News Channel 5. Wow, that was some incredible video to see, and it impacts so many people in our city, so we'll definitely be watching for that. Absolutely. It was an eye-opening experience, and I think when people watch this special, they'll really get a sense of what these officers are facing. With unprecedented access, thank you so much, Phil.